Greg from General Giant Studios. Uh, I'm now the sales coordinator. You might have known me as the marketing customer service guy if you've ever sent in emails. That was me responding. Now you've got Chris and they've moved me up. But I'm here at Comic-Con to see you guys again because I've missed you all so much. And Sean's here going to be here. We're going to be taking you around the booth here so you guys get a first-hand look at everything going on. It's preview night here at Comic-Con. Everything's really exciting. I just got to San Diego about two hours ago, so I haven't even seen what's in our booth yet because Dev and Ashley keep everything under very close wraps. They don't tell me anything. You know, so we're gonna go explore this together. So come on out, come on along and let's see what we got, all right? Cool. So um, first and foremost, this year we have our brand new uh, Padme Amidala statue. We actually did just solicit this. So this is a brand new announced product. Just got announced earlier this month. This is uh, based on the Adam Hughes concept artwork of the, uh, you know, the sexy snow bunny Padme. Uh, this is actually inspired by the Clone Wars animated series, uh, the, the, the original Clone Wars animated, not the new one, not the one that's been on Cartoon Network for years, but the original shorts that ran uh, back, what, almost 10 years ago now, like a long time ago. It's inspired by that. They're done in an anime style, uh, but we actually took that anime style character and rendered it in a realistic style. So it's not quite the Natalie Portman likeness intentionally, because it's actually not based on Natalie Portman's performance, it's actually based on the cartoon, which was based on her and now it's the Ouroboros, it's the snake eating its own tail. So it's come on back around again, and this is what we've come up with. Uh, so, and then from there, actually, we're just revealing now the new, uh, I, I guess this is a Yoda companion piece, a Yoda statue that we'll be announcing soon, we're taking orders on soon. It's a companion piece for it. It's a Yoda done in the same fashion. It was ba based on the animated version of the character that we've now rendered in a realistic style. Uh, so this is this is kind of a we've kind of done this before with the uh, the uh, Captain Rex mini bus that we did a while ago for PGMs, uh, and we're kind of revisiting this now because I think we've got some great opportunities to do so with some of these characters. Really bring them in a way uh, that's new and different and uh, inspired in a way other than how we've done it before. Hey, Genzi. So. If this yeah. does well, do you have the ability to do with other characters from that, like Dirge and Asajj, Ventress? Yes. We have the possibility of being able to do them. So all I can say, guys, is get your orders in now. And if it looks like we like them, if it looks like y'all like them, we will make more. And when is this anticipated to come out? Um, well, I don't know. Do you want the sales answer or do you want the General Giant Collectors answer? Because the General Giant Collectors will all say it's coming out next decade or so. Um, but, hey, we've done a few things to earn that reputation. I understand. Uh, there's still that R2 statue that... We're going to ask about yeah. that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, the official word, let me just let me just cover that right now. The, uh, the R2 statue is indefinitely postponed. Um, the reason being is that it's such an incredibly complex piece that we haven't been able to find a manufacturing partner that can actually build it to our specs. And we're going to hold off until, I guess, for lack of a better term, the technology and the resources are better, where we can bring the collectors exactly what we've been showing them. So it's indefinitely put off, but it's not dead. That's what we want it's to not hear. dead, it's just it may be... It's going to be even longer than we thought. But the thing is, is that with that piece, we want to do it right. So it's not dead yet, but it's on life support. <laughs> so uh, that being said, the, uh, the Padme, which we just listed, should be out second quarter next year. Um, we've been getting a lot better about hitting deadlines on certain products, and I know that this one's going to be in high demand, so we're going to be hopefully nailing that one down second quarter next year. What's the estimated price point? We just, you know, I'm the sales guy. You'd think I'd know this stuff off the top of my head, but sometimes it's just too much. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the YouTube comments, but I think it's around 250 bucks. That's what I, that's what I think, that's what I remember, but I, that may not be 100% right. So don't quote me on that. Um, let's see what else we got here. I have, I've seen these guys working on this in the paint shop for the past like two months, but this is the first time I've actually seen it assembled. This is Igor from Iron Man 3. It's an Igor statue. And clearly it lights up. And my God, it's amazing. Just to give you guys some reference here, I'm six foot five. I am not a small guy. And you see how this is lining up to my chest? This is a big piece. This is huge. And it's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, get in there, get the details. Let's, wow. Yep, if you guys remember Iron Man 3, this is the Igor suit that uh, fought in the final battle against the Extremis. And what are 
what is the scope of the Iron Man 3 license you have? Well, we got Igor, didn't we? Yeah, so pretty comprehensive, let's put it that way. Um, and we've also got the Iron Patriot mini, mini bus, which uh, is an Amazon.com exclusive. So that I'll show you guys that in a couple of minutes. Over here, this is awesome. I love this. This is a continuation of our uh, incredibly popular um, Walking Dead Zombie Army Men. We're actually going to start busting out play sets shortly. This is obviously the prison play set. Uh, and we have, you actually see not just walkers and not just prison walkers, but you start seeing survivors. People have been asking about the survivors and when we're going to cover them since the thing, uh, since these first came out. And you will be seeing survivors uh, in the future. So I don't, I can't exactly reveal any details beyond that, but that's what we've got lined up for the moment. So you do see a Grimes right there, and I can't tell who the other one is. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to say words, but Woodbury. Woodbury playset. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I, 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 I think it's looking pretty good. I, I mean, once again, guys, the thing is, is that collectors speak with their wallets. You know, people, uh, if you guys buy this stuff, we'll make more of it. And that's kind of how we decide what we're going to do in the future. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of artistic liberties and a lot of creative things that we do, but if it resonates with collectors and, and they do it, that's how we know better than anything else that that's what people like. Um, you know, so, the, I mean, that's why, I mean, that's why the Kenner line is blown up so much is that everybody wants it. Everybody's buying it. So as long as people want this stuff, we'll continue to make more, you know, so that's what I'll say about that. This, we want to know all about it. What the uh, the stormtrooper? Yes. I can actually wear this thing. Remind us again how tall you are, and then you're standing next to me. Um, I am six foot five. Now this is also on about a five inch platform or so, five six inch platform. So it's a little bit taller than me right now. But this is a full six foot tall stormtrooper, Kenner stormtrooper. Um, if you're gonna ask, if you're asking if you can buy it, the answer will be yes. Yeah, it will be for sale. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And when is it anticipated to come out? Can't say. I know, I just can't say. So I'm sorry, I have to be a jerk. Okay. But yeah. Um, so yes, this is, uh, the, and actually, also, it does come with a blaster. Yeah. Can we hold the blaster? If I can find it, because uh, some one of our other guys was just playing with it a few minutes ago. So if I can track it down, I, we're not leaving it out here. Because I guarantee you, it's not going to stay if it gets left out here. So, what was the concept like? How did this come about? Somebody asked for it, and we thought it was cool. Here's the thing. I mean, honestly, the other thing is a lot of a lot of it. We do do a lot of creative license and to come up with a lot of creative stuff. But guys, especially you guys on Channel Giant Collectors and Rebel Scum and Statue Form, you guys know that we're on there. And we may not be posting on everything, but we read just about everything, you know, including a lot of the nasty comments. But I won't get into that. So. Um, but we, uh, but you know, we get a lot of inspiration from what the collectors ask for and what they think is cool. We're just as big as geeks as you guys are. And I mean that in the most endearing way possible. I mean, honestly, I am like squeeing myself looking at everything we've got coming out, thinking that I don't have enough shelf space in my own place to, to display this all. And you know, and I'm the guy that sells this stuff. So I'm already like kid in a candy shop to begin with. But this year in particular, I'm just like, oh my God, this is all incredible. So, you know, um, We've got a lot of creative guys who are just as geeky as everybody else who are fans of this stuff. You know, I mean, what I love about this company is that it is by fans for fans, and that's honestly the truth. We love this stuff. We love the stuff that we work on. Um, and we come up with a lot of this stuff on our own, but we also get a lot of ideas from just listening to people, listening to collectors, and uh, reading the forums, and, uh, and, you know, looking at the request lists that people keep sending in and stuff like that. We love that stuff, so keep it up. I mean, you guys are helping us develop our line plans for us almost, you know? Um, yeah. So that I mean that's what I've got to say about that. Somebody asked for that and thought it was cool and we were like, "Hell yeah, let's do it." So, yeah. See what happens.